Welcome fellow Toy Hound fans and viewers. This is Toy Hound here to review a Cedar Point Amusement Park Souvenir Big Rig Tractor Trailer Toy. And here it is in the package. It shows for three and up. It shows Cedar Point. You can only get this at Cedar Point, but I think that's supposed to be the Millennium Force right there. And of course that's the Millennium Force right there on the side as well. And it's basically a somewhat die cast semi truck. It's kind of the trailer's kind of made like a race car semi truck hauler. Here's what it looks like on the back. And that's how much it cost. And in the next clip, I'll show you out of the package. And here, as you can see, is the Cedar Point big rig tractor trailer out of the package and um, it's a Cedar Point amusement park exclusive you can only get it at Cedar Point a friend of mine actually picked this truck up for me at Cedar Point um, I wasn't able to go to Cedar Point for a couple years so he picked it up for me at a discount price and I just thought it'd be interesting to show you guys on the channel it is somewhat die cast metal but it's not completely die cast the only part that's die cast is this tractor or the semi portion of the truck has a nice Cedar Point logo on the side nice Cedar Point logo on the other side nice detailed stacks the old school stacks and the little air filter tanks on the side right there nice detail on the wheel and a rim nice detail on the grill Kind of reminds me of a Peterbilt 379, this whole uh, tractor semi. Nice detail on the other side, of course. The interior has a steering wheel and seats, as you can see right there. Nice detail on the rims and tires, of course. It's got nice detailed mud flaps. Only problem is, as I'll show you after um, showing the, the other part of this with the rims, is it rubs the ground but besides that it's still nice it's got the nice dually tires with a detailed tread it's a plastic base it's got Phillips screws to hold it together so if you're a customizer it's kind of a cool option and then you got the the main portion of the reason that you probably buy this truck is uh, it's got the Millennium Force which if you really are a fan of the Millennium Force roller coaster this is basically like a rolling billboard right there it's a sticker show Cedar Point here's what it looks like on the back and the other side and then you have Cedar Point on the top it's a top view when it's rolling down on the roller coaster it's made of a plastic got a metal hitch here's the bottom of it it's held together with Phillips screws doesn't have the dually tires um, it's got like a racing inspired trailer and it hitches to the toy for three and up that's the ages and if you're not satisfied with that truck you can swap it out for like a matchbox semi this is a Kenworth K2000 and I managed to make it fit there you go right there here's a little uh, comparison with the tractor next to the long gone Hot Wheels right there and that's the truck is it well worth spending $6.99 for it it all depends on your personal preference I think it's a really nice detailed truck it's got a lot of fragile parts that's one thing to be aware of um, one problem I have with it is it kind of sinks to the side but as far as being a toy it's a good toy um, it's probably the cheapest uh, semi truck with an amusement park theme that you can get it's a lot cheaper than a Disney World truck my sister picked one up for me a couple years ago when she was in high school um, and it's the Hot Wheels one with the motorcycle and it's got Mickey on it that was like a $20 toy, $20, $25 toy. So this is a lot cheaper. 
And if you want to just keep it in the package, just because it has that Millennium Force theme to it, I think it's well worth picking up. But it's all about your personal preference, like I said. And that's all I really have to say. If you'd like to see more videos, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for more reviews.